let's talk about those disease preventions. See, neuromelanin absorbs and neutralizes toxins, heavy metals, and free radicals, things that causes neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. This explains why black people had historically low rates of these diseases until they started feeding us neurotoxin food, fluorated water, and chemical-laced medicines. But go ahead, tell me again how melanin is just a skin pigment. Let's look at the third receipt, melanin and mitochondria. DNA. See, it's an energy connection. The mitochondria DNA, your body's energy powerhouse, interacts directly with melanin. And you know what? Studies suggest that the melanin can enhance mitochondrial function, helping your cells produce more energy. This means melanated people have greater endurance, recovery ability, and cellular efficiencies. Now think about this. Why do they tell melanated people to avoid the sun? when sunlight activates your melanin and boosts your energy. Why do they tell us to wear sunscreen when melanin naturally protects against UV damage? Why are skin be bleaching creams being pushed in Africa when melanin is literally a biological advantage? Because they don't want you to access your full power, people. Let's talk about Miss Henrietta Lacks, who's the immortal blueprint. Ah, yes, we'll talk about this woman's DNA and how it changed modern medicine forever. However, Henrietta Lacks cells, the Hella cells, are still alive today and still replicating and still being used for cancer research, vaccine development, and gene modification, AIDS, and COVID treatments. Her cells literally don't die. And guess what? Her DNA was filled with melanin. So let me ask again. If melanin is so useless, why are they still using her cells decades later?